Hey, so my name is Josh. Uh, I'm the owner of Green Thread Herbs here in the Avenues. And before I opened my herb shop and went into clinical practice here, I was the chocolate czar at the downtown Caputo's, um, which not only gave me a lot of sort of uh, rubber hits the road training on how to do community and do customer service Tony's way, um, but also gave me the, the inspiration to, you know, do what I wanted to do and to, to find the stuff I was passionate about and, and make it happen. So uh, a huge amount of debt to Tony and, and Caputo's for, for this, really. Um, let's see, we uh, chose these flowers for Tony to honor him um, and to make Tony's flowers cheese for a lot of reasons. First, they're incredibly beautiful. We, uh, Antonia and I, spent a lot of time considering aroma and color and, of course, flavor uh, and how these flowers would be pulled into the cheese and become part of the, the Tony's Flowers cheese experience. And so we have uh, a bunch of them from really all over the world. Uh, just a couple that I'll introduce you to. This is a calendula flower, which is a close relative of marigold. And these particular flowers were grown uh, just for us on a biodynamic farm in Oregon. And they are just incredibly fragrant and beautiful. We call them our uh, gold flowers, just gorgeous. And they bring a lot of that sort of warm, sunny gold color to the cheese. We, of course, had to bring in some French lavender. Uh, this is uh, a true Provence style, a Provence species of lavender that you will definitely smell in the cheese. It's incredibly fragrant uh, and I think brings a really nice little texture to the cheese. And then we did an Egyptian uh, classic rose. This is a Rosa Canina, a dog rose that is grown on an heirloom farm in Egypt. And also from Egypt, our cornflower which honestly we chose just because that color is incredible. Uh, and it reminds me so much of the color palette that Tony was working with in the flower pots at Caputo's, uh, just making sure we had a diversity of color. Uh, and then our chrysanthemum, really beautiful. We actually did a white and a yellow chrysanthemum. This is the uh, yellow chrysanthemum. And they also have just an incredible, uh, incredible color and an incredible flavor. So. Uh, these all get put together. Um, the ones that have proper hips or proper flowers, we're actually uh, removing all of the petals by hand. So it's many, many, many hours of uh, kind of putting the headphones on and zoning out and getting it done. And then everything is blended by hand and then uh, goes to Caputo's and Antonia does her magic.